we're cane farmers and we grow macadamias and wanted to uh, value add to the macadamias that we grow. I have a recipe that was my Nana's from many years ago when she would make really beautiful homemade food and she made a homemade ice cream, blancmange, um, custards, all those beautiful yummy slow cooked foods. So I said to Anthony, I'm going to turn these macadamias into an ice cream. Our ice cream business um, started uh, about 18 years ago, but uh, it's got to a stage now that it's that large. Um, we can no longer uh, look after our sugarcane farm and the macadamias and make ice cream. So we've leased the farm out about, uh, about eight years ago. So what started out as me being able to manufacture a product at home um, and still be able to look after children when they were small has come a long way to the stage that we now employ eight people. And uh, Anthony, works for me now. The products that we use, we use all of our own macadamias uh, grown from the uh, orchard planted uh, uh, by my late father. Uh, we only produce about five tonne of macadamias which equates to about one and a half tonne of kernel. So we need to buy, uh, last year I think we went through about 10 tonne of the kernel. Most of the other fruit, we, um, it's all Queensland sourced. Uh, the only uh, foreign, or, uh, foreign products are the boysenberry, which comes from New Zealand, and coconut, which of course comes from our Thailand. Back in 2003, I was runner-up Rural Woman of the Year, and I was fortunate enough to get a $5,000 bursary with that, and that I used to put towards going uh, down to the Gilbert Chandler University in Melbourne, where I did an ice cream degree. Um, where I learnt the fundamentals of making a product and a lot about food technology. Um, and now we make at least 30 different flavours of ice cream. And in those 30 we make about 8 flavours of macadamia, which is the, the largest macadamia range of ice creams in Australia. Our most famous flavour, I guess, would be our red dirt ice cream. People depict that with chillers because of the rolling red hills that we have here. And we now have a diverse range that we stock of macadamia, macadamia products as well. So anything from macadamia oil to spread, flavoured kernel, uh, nougat bars, rocky road. Um, so you can come here, it's pretty much a, a one-stop macadamia nut shop. Not only do we grow the macadamias and we manufacture our ice cream products here, uh, we wholesale. Uh, we retail, so we've got the shop here where we ma make the product. We've now got a new retail shop on the highway in Childers, and we also wholesale. This ice cream is really making you dance on the inside. A big part of our business is the event market. We do some major events throughout Queensland, particularly the Yekka, we do the, must, the country music must for Gympie, uh, some larger caravan shows in Brisbane, uh, and also um, the Woodford Folk Festival. One of the major events that we do, of course, is the Childers Multicultural Day. Uh, and in fact, that was the first event that we um, sold our, um, our product at. It's really quite incredible, the fact that Mamino ice cream is very iconic to the Childers region now and uh, we are very proud to have been part of it from its inception to where it is now. Two pints of cream, four eggs, two cups of sugar, a tablespoon of vanilla bean essence, a handful of white chocolate. Oh, Nana, we've come a long way with your recipe. <laughs>